Welcome back everybody, this is Dave the Gamer. Today this is going to be part four of my mob grinding series where I show you a different place to go to make you know tons of gold. This time we're looking at Western Plague Lands and we're actually going to be looking at the rotting behemoths, the Kang whores, and devouring oozes. So I'm sure you've seen videos possibly like this. I've tested it out for, I did about six hours of it today. Um, after a couple hours, I was like, man, I got to record this shit and tell some people because this shit is broken. Um, but without further ado, let's get into it. Get into it. So after doing, you know, further testing on this this morning, definitely you want to come on before like 2 p.m. After then it starts getting busy. Uh, if you get there and there's one other person in the cave, I'm going to go there and show you uh, the actual route and what I do when I'm in there after I show you the value of everything. Um, but so one, um, they respawn within like three to five minutes. So even with one other person in there, it's super fast. Um, so I personally, this time I made in two hours, I did a two hour win, uh, window with what I had. And it was actually, I had to cut it short because me and this uh, warrior kept fighting. So it was really like an hour and 45 minutes worth. And I got three greater nature potions to drop, which is what you're hunting for. Um, as you see right now on my server, the minimum buy is 120 gold. I don't think they're going to sell at that price. You know, market price is... Uh, about 60 and other servers are between 70 and 86. So we're going to factor them at 60 gold. Them alone is 180 gold throughout those two hours, not to mention anything else. So this place is excellent. Yes, it is RNG based. Um, well, I always get that in the comments. Of course, every fucking guide there is in the world is RNG based. Um, but if you stay consistent over the long time, I average to get one pattern every hour. This time I got two my first hour, one the second hour. But over five hours today, I got uh, five patterns, I maybe six patterns. I got to double check on that. Um, so it is consistent as long as you do it over a long period of time. You can't go 30 minutes and be like, oh, what the hell? I didn't get one. Grind it for a couple hours and then you'll be like, holy shit. I just made 120 gold here. Easy. So this place is a nice gold mine. You definitely want to start stocking up now. Get all of your mats ready for when ZG hits. Get all of your enchants. Uh, you know, your blood vine set's not going to be cheap. Everything like that. Um, but going over, so I started at 35 gold total. And we're going to uh, click here and actually sell all of my uh, grays. So 35 and now let's sell this shit here. All right, so it looks like 50. So I got 15 in raw gold from grays and um, just picking up gold. Now I already uh, counted everything down below here and it's about 16 and a half gold in items um, between, usually you get a ton more greens, um, a lot more herbs. This time it looked like, you know, they hooked me up with the big potions but screwed me on everything else, which hey, I'll take. I got eight bags, um, which these oozing bags, if you don't know what they are, you have a chance where it's a, let me see, a 2% chance to get the oozing, uh, oozing pet or whatever the hell it's called. It's 150 gold on my server. It looks like 100 gold average. So it's a great, um, you know, it's a 2% chance. So it's not often. Um, I actually wanted to talk to you guys. I was going to make a video on opening a hundred of these oozing bags. Um, it took, you know, two hours to get eight of them. So it's about a 12 hour investment for me to, you know, get the items to actually be able to make the video. So let me know in the comments below if that's something you'd be interested in. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is, this is insane. So, you know, 31 gold plus 180 in, um, in the patterns, if you divide that, it's 105 gold an hour. Obviously, um, you might make a little bit less if you only get one of them. You might only make 80, 90 gold. Um, I've actually, the one time I calculated, I went 
two hours without getting a single pattern, but I got a ton more greens and everything, and I still made like 75 gold. So one way or another, this place is excellent. It is great when you get the greater nature. Personally, myself, I'm going to save all of, like I plan on getting like 20 of these, saving every single one of them for when AQ hits and everybody wants to make greater nature protection potions. I have a feeling they're gonna be up to like 150 gold a piece, maybe more, that's what I'm hoping on. I don't think they're gonna go down, so it's not like a bad investment just to sit in my bank. So to go over a couple classes, I'm on my mage. I think this is best done on a mage because you're able to AOE, which is very crucial to be able to do for uh, devouring ooze because they'll actually spawn like several little minions, which I'm gonna take you to. If you already know how to kill them, you know, great, the video's over for you. But if, if you're new to this method and wanna see, stick around, I am gonna take us to the spot and actually show you what to look for. But I wanna go over the classes that are actually able to do this. So in my eyes, I think mage is the easiest. Holy priest would be right up there. Druids and rogues are very nice for the fact that they can stealth pass all of the bullshit. They'll miss out on getting the oozing bags but they're able to kill all the monsters that are going to get them to greater natures. So it's like they, you know, th that's great in that sense. Um, I've done it plenty of times on my warlock. It's a little bit more difficult. Uh, who else? Really, I don't know about shamans and warriors. I think they're going to have a little bit more dif uh, difficult of a time handling uh, since they don't have as much AOE, I could be wrong. I, I don't play either of those classes, so let me know on that. Um, I'd love to hear some feedback. I think, like I said, Druid, Holy Priest, anybody that can AOE, I think are going to be up closer to the 100 gold an hour. If you're not AOE, it's going to slow you down. You might only make you know, 70, 80 gold, worst case. Either way, this is fucking great gold, and I rarely see people there for whatever reason. But uh, let's jump actually into the cave and I'll show you exactly what to do. The cave, if you don't know, the cave is in Western Plaguelands. So I always leave straight from Undercity. I run and I will, and the cave is actually right here. So you'll just enter in through the cave. Now, like I said, fast respawns. So you do have to be careful in the sense that you don't have a whole lot of time to eat between fights and everything. So after you clear a pack, you want to hurry up, eat. They respawn quick, which is great for being able to burst shit down fast. And on my mage, it's not like I'm some rock star mage that, you know, if you're well geared, you might be able to make 120, 130 gold here because you're killing it even faster. But let's get to that cave. All right, so at the cave, guys. So like I said, as you know, you come in through the cave. Uh, there's some vile uh whatever the hell they're called um but as a mage i just want to give you a couple tips and pretty much any class you're going to be able to learn uh, a thing or two coming in here especially as a mage you want to make sure you always have your mana gem uh, your robe of arc mage and i prefer which i think is almost a must is you want to have your ice barrier on and then you don't start pulling anything until uh 35 seconds in because you need to cast the ice barrier again so these these rotting things which are the main source of where you make all of your money they don't really do shit it's these devouring oozes this is what all the problem is so i always do a cone of cold first just uh i'll slow them just in case you know one resist and then i'm gonna put a blizzard on see the uh they'll actually cast these little oozlings that come at you if you didn't have your ice barrier up they would knock your blizzard away and screw the whole thing up so I don't like to pull more than three of those uh, devouring oozes. If you were a different type of class in general, um, I would recommend only pulling one or two of them, you know, taking a little bit slower hunters. You could just basically have your pets in. But as you see, I mean, it's not bad, especially as a mage. Um, but you have to kill them. So unfortunately, they share the same spawn location as these rotting behemoths. So... I try to avoid killing them as much as possible, but uh, you, you have to. To increase your gold per hour, you gotta go through and kill these bad boys. That's why like, if you are in another world with someone and you know it's a mage and he's just AOEing all these like I am, 
there's a lot of times I'll see rogues and druids just snake me by just coming through stealth, taking all of these, and then boom, they're out. So I do all the hard lifting, and they take the easy cheese. But Hunter, I just set my pet in even when there's... So when you kill that, five little oozlings spawn from there. If you're standing at a distance, uh, they don't aggro against you. So you could actually drink up, eat up if you're low, and then go back into fighting them. But as a mage or anybody AOEing, I would start with only taking on two at a time, maybe one just to learn how it works. And then really, I will never pull more than four. I really only like to do three. Typically, you'll pull like two of these and like four of the big guys. Because like I said, the more damage you got, you do to the behemoths, they actually reduce in size and damage. I mean, at max health, they only do like 150 hit. It's these guys that spawned all those little shitty ads. So that's your biggest worry here. Now, during peak time, you are going to see a lot of PvP action in here. So I recommend, you know, coming on as early as possible before like two o'clock is most uh, is when you're going to get the most gold per hour. But I hope you enjoyed this part four hundred plus gold. I would say out of my four that I've already shown you guys, this is probably the best one so far. And it's been getting better every, every time. Uh, so let's see if I can't beat 100 gold per hour and get you guys that money you're going to need for ZG stuff. If you did like this video, please think about subscribing, liking it. And like I said, down below in the comments, if you can, before I waste 12 hours of my life grinding out these oozling bags, is that something you want to see? Is that something that interests you? I think it'd be pretty cool to see. Do we get one pet? Do we get two? Do we get none? Like, what the hell do you actually get in those things? I mean, usually you get like... 50 silver average, but I'd like to see what the odds are. I mean, if I'm opening 100 and it's 2% chance, I'd like to think I'd get two, but I know that's not how it works. I don't know. I think it'd be a fun video. But until then, guys, game on.